lately I have been getting quite a few requests to talk about body skincare as well as facial skincare. So today I'm going to dedicate an entire video to talk about body oils. So I want to talk about how to best use the oils, why you should actually use them, who they're for, and how to integrate them into your skincare routine. I also want to talk about some of my absolute favorite oils, what makes them so luxurious and wonderful, and I'm going to break down the ingredients list because I live here in Europe, most of my viewers are in America, and sometimes you can have a hard time finding the products that I recommend, so I always break them down by their ingredients list so that you can look for an equivalent product in your own market, maybe even from some of your favorite tried, tested, and true brands that you already know and love. So let's start with why you actually use body oils. There seems to be a common misconception that they're just sort of a luxury product, kind of like a fluffy, not really functional product, like it's a nice fragrance, but they don't really do that much. This could not be farther from the truth. They are actually really amazing hydrating products and they can really make a difference to your skin. They are suitable for absolutely all skin types, but they're especially important for people that have normal through to extreme dry skin, mature skin, sensitive or dehydrated skin. Moisturizing ingredients come in two different kinds. One of them is called an oculant and the other one is called a humectant. I actually dedicated an entire video talking about how moisturizers work. This is true for both your face as well as your body care. I will link that video up here in the cards and down in the description box below because I think that's really important if you're looking to moisturize your skin that you understand how they work so you can pick the best one for your skin type. So oils are kind of a bit strange because they are technically oculants, but they work a lot more like a humectant. So this is going to get confusing if you haven't seen that video. So a humectant is a product that actually draws water to your skin, and an oculant is one that blocks the surface of your skin to prevent the water from evaporating, which is a natural process that your skin does as it just breathes daily. But the oils are different than other oculants because the molecule size is so small that they sink through all the different layers of your skin and penetrate really deeply into your skin, so they're very, very effective at hydrating your skin. They actually sink so deep into your skin that your body recognizes that they're there, unlike creams and lotions which sit more towards the surface of your skin. This means that your skin actually produces less oil because it recognizes it as if it were the sebum, the naturally produced oil in your skin. This means they are great for oilier skin types because it will prevent your skin from actually producing the oil. This is especially important for the skin on your face, but it also is important for the skin on your body. Now, if you have a dry skin, using these kind of oils underneath a thicker, heavier lotion means that you actually get a double layer to help protect your skin, which is really important in these dry winter months because the weather really can dehydrate your skin even further and when you have dry skin that can cause all kinds of problems. If you have an oilier skin, you can actually just get away with using the oil. You don't need a lotion or moisturizer on top. If you find creams and lotions a little bit greasy, a little bit difficult to absorb into your skin, an oil is a really good alternative that will do just as well to hydrate your skin, but it will absorb really deeply into your skin and it won't leave that greasy residue that some other products can. The best way to use an oil, whether it's for your face or for your body, is to use it directly after you have cleaned your skin. So after a bath or a shower when your skin is really wet, it absorbs skincare products much better than when it's dry. Think of it like a sponge. If you have a really dry sponge and you're applying products on top, they just kind of like sit on the top surface. But if it's kind of like wet and a little springy, the products just absorb a lot better and a lot more quickly and you don't get as much like residue or anything on the surface of your skin. Even though you use these products directly after you have your shower or your bath, you should pat your skin dry just so that they actually don't compete with the water on the surface of your skin and they just absorb much more quickly that way. So that is a way for absolutely everyone to use these products. If you want to get a good lymphatic massage, start with your feet and massage them in circular motions and work your way up to your core and then start with your hands and again work your way to your core. So this is the actual best way to use a body oil because not only does it absorb into the skin and really moisturize it, but you also get a small lymphatic massage which will just help keep water water moving throughout your body and will help combat things such as cellulite or if you are prone to collecting water in any parts of your body, using a body oil and massaging it in can really actually help alleviate some of those symptoms. So as I mentioned, if you have an oily skin, you can go ahead and just use a body oil. It will do the same thing as a body cream, but it will do it at a much lower, deeper, more nourishing level of your skin and it won't compete with the natural oil in your skin. So you're probably going to be okay with just using an oil. If it's really dry in the winter, feel free 
to put a lotion on top especially if you're going to go outside where your skin will be subject to the harsh weather if however you have a very dry a very sensitive a dehydrated or a mature skin type you can go ahead and layer them with any moisturizer or lotion or any product that you normally use in your routine it is best to give about three to five minutes just to let the oil really sink in so that the cream doesn't get kind of trapped on top of the oil and then it will take it a little longer to sink in so just give it a few minutes to work and then you're going to get the best out of your skincare routine now i'm going to talk about what to actually look for in a body oil i actually did a whole series of videos dedicated to different facial skincare products and a lot of what i said about the facial oils will apply to the body oils as well so i'll link that playlist up here so you can take a look at that so by the way if this video is really interesting to you and you're loving this content please do subscribe and stick around and you can be notified of any future skincare videos that i drop if you have any questions on anything that i've said so far please leave them in the comments below i do my best to get back to everyone that has any questions or comments for me so now let's dive into what to actually look for in a body oil most oils that are found in facial oils and body oils come from nuts and seeds these are really really nutrient rich they're very dry oils which means that they absorb really quickly and really well into the skin and they also deliver a lot of really important skincare nutrients deep into your skin i actually try to do a lot of research onto different oil types to match them best for your skin type and i actually found just so much conflicting scientific information i wasn't really able to break them down they simply are too personal because every person has different skin and you're going to absorb the products at different rates and they're going to have different levels of efficacy for your skin type so what i'm going to do is recommend a general guide of what to look for depending on your skin type so that you can match the perfect oil for you generally what you want to look for in any kind of skincare oil is one that is a dry oil meaning that it is fast absorbing it means that the ingredients are going to be well absorbed and they're going to be the most effective in your skincare routine it also means that they aren't going to compete with the other ingredients and the other items that you're using in your skincare the driest oils are going to be things like jojoba oils and rose hips seed oil. So these oils have a really, really light molecular weight. They absorb really well into the skin. They're suitable for absolutely all skin types and they're really easy to recognize because they're really, really runny. So when you use them on the back of your head, they're very, very fluid. So they're going to move around a lot on your skin. These are the lightest oils and they absorb the best. However, there are some advantages of using a heavier oil such as argan oils, different kinds of seed oils, because these are actually more hydrating and more nourishing. So these are better for a more mature or dry skin type all the way through to vitamin E which is actually really quite a sticky oil and when you place it on your hand it doesn't really move around very much at all so depending on your skin type and your skin needs really you should be actually looking for the consistency of the oil most oil based products also do have a blend of oil so the best way to find the right oil for you is just to try them on the back of your hand if you have a really oily skin look for the lightest most runniest oil and if you have a mature super dry or dehydrated skin look for a kind of more more viscous, more thick oil. When it comes to oils, it's also really important to talk about fragrance. This can be naturally occurring fragrances such as in the nuts and seeds themselves, but they can also be extracts added to add a scent to the products. They can also be just fragrance and perfume, so you do need to keep an eye out for that if you have sensitive skin or if you are reactive to that or you just don't like heavily fragranced ingredients. Unfortunately, body oils do have a lot of fragrance added to them. It's not my favorite because it's not a useful skincare ingredient and it can irritate and agitate some skin types so always look through the ingredients list when you're looking at an oil to make sure that it's suitable for what you need speaking of ingredients list before i actually go into the products and break them down the most important thing of an oil of any kind is to look for a very simple ingredients list a lot of other skincare products have things like emollients emulsifiers and preservatives added to them but oils don't actually need those products oils should be really pure really high quality ingredients there shouldn't be very many of those weird scientific names that you don't recognize if you start seeing too many of those it might not be the best product because those products can be fillers now i'm going to talk about some of my absolute favorite luxury oils i'm going to talk about what makes them so great and what to look for in the ingredients list so that you can find one that works for you the first one i'm going to talk about is the satin oil from diptyque now i have loved diptyque oils for a really long time the quality of the ingredients is really really nice these ones are very very dry they're lightweight they're fast absorbing they are beautifully fragranced if you do not like fragrances you will not like these oils 
This one has a lot of jasmine and florals in it. It's a very light, very bright, very strong scented oil. If you're someone who really loves floral scents, this could be a great oil for you. I also love the little spray pump on this. I think it's really, really convenient and really, really easy to use. So I love this oil. It's also really beautiful and looks stunning on your vanity. This one has the most complicated ingredients list of any of the oils I'm gonna talk about today. It does have some ingredients that I may consider filler ingredients actually because I I don't think they're necessary. They make the oil a more beautiful experience. They make it absorb better. They make the texture better, but you don't really need them. So if you have a more sensitive skin type, this one is probably one that I would avoid. It does have added fragrance. It has quite a few ingredients in it, and every added ingredient can be an irritant for people that have more sensitive skin. So this one is really great for people with mature or dry skin, maybe not so great for someone who has a sensitive skin. The main oil ingredient is called the carrier oil, and then the the other ones are sort of additive oil. The carrier oil in this one is sweet almond oil, which I love to see. That's a really expensive, good quality raw ingredient. It's not that common to find it in a body oil because it is such an expensive raw ingredient. So this one has a really, really luxurious main ingredient in it, which I think shouldn't be overlooked as well. So this is a really, really luxurious oil. Next up is the Chanel body oil. This one is the Jasmine. It comes in four different scents. There was one for every season in their spa and then they eventually release them to the customer so that we can enjoy them. I think jasmine is summer, it could be spring, I'm not totally sure. There's like orient, rose, vanilla, and jasmine. So I don't remember which one is which season, but that's kind of the naming convention behind this oil. The carrier oil in this is a sunflower seed oil, which is a really nice oil. It's very light and easy to absorb by the skin. Now these oils are absolutely stunning. They have a relatively simple ingredients list. They're not too complicated, which I love to see in an oil. They are, however, very heavily fragranced. So if you don't like fragranced oils or you have a more sensitive skin type, this one might be one that you should consider skipping. But for everyone else, it's definitely worth Worth looking into. The quality of this product is absolutely outstanding from the ingredients itself as well as to the packaging. Now this one does have a really hefty price tag but it's also more than twice the size of all of the other oils that I have here today. This is a very luxury product at a very luxury price point with a very luxury quantity. So it is really beautiful. I will definitely reuse this container when I'm done with it but for now I'm really enjoying this one. So the Aromatherapy Associate Body Oils are also some of my favorite ones the quality is really good. They have long ingredients lists, but they're mostly natural oils. These ones are a beautiful blend of a lot of different oils. So it's really, really great cocktail of different kinds of oils that are gonna absorb at different layers in your skin. I find them really, really beautiful. Again, they are very heavily fragranced. You're seeing a theme here. Apparently I love fragranced oils because I have a lot of them. So this one for me, if I'm honest, it's actually too fragranced. I got the relaxed one because I thought it would be really nice before bed, but I actually find like it's almost overpowering and I would prefer maybe one of the other scents, like they have a rose scented one. Also, maybe you see a theme, I really like white florals, so I think that one would have suited me better. The scent aside, which is a very subjective thing, the quality of this oil is really, really amazing. I love, love, love that it has jojoba in it. Jojoba is a really special oil because it's the most similar to the natural oil produced in your skin, so it's suitable for absolutely every skin type and I absolutely love to see it in an oil. Now the main oil of this one is actually a coconut oil. I know that some people do find coconut oil a little bit irritating so I thought I would mention that for sure. I also want to mention that this one has a lot of extracts in it. Now again if you have sensitive skin I think this is going to be one that you should skip because those can be irritating. Now this one also does have some fragrance but all of the fragrance are derived from natural extracts. So it's a very very holistic and natural kind of product if you're into that. This is definitely a brand worth checking out. Now, my favorite body oil is actually the Herbivore Jasmine Oil. I love everything about this oil. So it's actually kind of similar to the Aromatherapy Associates in that it has jojoba oil, which I love to see, and its main carrier oil is, once again, the coconut oil, which may not agree with you, but I love it. So it's totally fine for my skin. I also love that this one is 
a lot more subtle than the other ones. I love a subtle natural scent to my products, but the other ones are really quite heavily fragranced, which I don't necessarily feel like every single day. This one is much, much more gentle, and I absolutely love it. It also comes in citrine, which is a rose scent, but I much prefer their jasmine. This one is my absolute favorite favorite body oil. I have repurchased this one several times. I absolutely love it. In addition to the jojoba oil and the coconut oil, it also has a fairly short ingredients list, which I like to see. It also has vitamin E, which I think is really, really great, especially for mature and normal to dry skin. So I think this is a really, really beautiful oil. It is my absolute favorite. If you have a chance to check this one out, I highly recommend it. Those are my favorite luxury oils. If you just want to try body oils for the first time or if those are outside of your budget or you don't like fragrance because they're all really heavily fragranced and most of the blends will have fragrances in them I actually think that you can get really 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 good quality body oils at your apothecary or organics shop I do believe that oil both for your face as well as your body is a really really important step of your skincare routine I actually don't think this is an area where you have to shell up money for a luxury product I think you can get really 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 effective products at a much more affordable price so I I have for a very very long time actually mixed jojoba oil and vitamin E. I think this is a great oil for your hands, especially your cuticles. And it's just as good as the cuticle oil you would buy in the store, but it's much cheaper and you can just mix it yourself. So the jojoba oil is really good for hydration and penetrates really really deeply. The vitamin E is much larger and much thicker and so it will also hydrate your skin but from a much higher level. So you're kind of getting two layers of moisturizing in your skin instead of just one by mixing those two together. So that's a really really great tip if you want to make your own. You can also get 100% rosehip seed oil or argan oil or marula oil. And there's a lot of brands that offer these at a much higher price. You can just go to your apothecary or your organics shop and you can get one at a much more affordable price. Comparing products from just the ingredients is a little bit tough because the manufacturing and refinement process is going to have an impact on the final product. These no-name brands often do cut corners when it comes to manufacturing costs, so it might not be to the exact quality, but it is going to be a lot more cost effective. Again, you just have to look for the right ingredients list for your skin type. Also, don't be shy about blending them together. Different oils do different things for your skin and they absorb at different layers and you're going to get much better hydration if you just kind of blend a few of them together and that way you can make your own perfect personalized skincare mix. So I really hope that this video was useful to you. Please leave me any comments you might have down below and I really hope that you stick around and I hope to see all of you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching.